Nigerian residents of Adoikiti, the capital of Ekiti State, have criticized the country's current situation as pathetic and unacceptable. They criticized Nigerian leaders for failing to capitalize on opportunities and potentials, citing the removal of fuel subsidy as a factor that has worsened their challenges, reduced their purchasing power, and added more burdens to their plight. Uh, we have not gotten there. And besides, uh, government has to do something uh, urgently because uh, cost of living uh, is just too high. Uh, the, the salary that we are being paid it, it cannot commensurate with what we are we are witnessing in the town, what we are buying. So government should do something. This is not the Nigeria of our dream. I need to pray for Nigeria. I urge all Christians. We need to pray for this country because we, we don't know where we are going. We don't know where we are as at now. So we need to beg God to come and assist this country to change this to better. I'm going to challenge all our leaders to keep focus. I know that at the end of the tunnel, testimonies will be shared. And I want to encourage the masses, the Nigerian citizens, to please keep praying for our leaders. Let's all cooperate. Let's all keep faith that Nigeria will be a place to be. It will be a better land. It will be a green pasture for everyone to dwell in by the green. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.